sad. This is the story that's sad. I can talk about the fact that we have a lot She was the smartest of them all. She 
became the second religious person in the kingdom of the world. After the bishop, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and this extraordinary woman is ignored by historians. First of all, because Pedro de Valdivia wrote to the king on many letters telling about the conquest, never mentioned her because she was a mistress and she was a man. The only the few things we know about the name, about the name, is because Pedro de Valdivia was tried by the Inquisition. He had 59 charges against him. Nine of them were the Protestants. And that's how we learn about him. And we learn about her through, through some of the stuff that was written by other people. She learned to be that night when she was spoiled. She never left any document about herself. But there are documents of trade, of commerce, of borrowing money, of land, that, that gives you an idea of who she was. And the thing that I love the most about the nation, she was brave, she must have been not beautiful, but very attractive, passionate, and all that. What I like about her is that she was 40 years old. Pedro Valdina went to Lima, finally, and got established at Balaninchi, went to Lima, and came back with two women of 20. And he was this brave captain. So scared of him that he couldn't get off the ship. He was so scared. So finally, the, the bishop interfered and asked him how to make it. instead of crying and, and, and being desperate or whatever, he turned around and married with a man that was 10 years younger, the best man of the book was Rodrigo de Giroba. And then they made 30 happy years. But Pedro de la India died fast. Who didn't kill by the end?